Round three, the Industry Super Sports Motor Racing Championship is proudly brought to you by Oznets and these valued partners. So taking a look at the location for round three of the Oznet New South Wales Super Sports Championship, proudly brought to you by Industry, it's here at Sydney Motorsport Park and turn two is an action zone down on the first big braking area of the circuit. It's a good opportunity to make up some points. Of course, the Super Sports cars really love this circuit. Great aero opportunities for them around the back section of the circuit. Watch for turn six where there's another great over two overtaking opportunity as well as down into the hairpin here at the back of Corporate Hill. It's a good spot to be able to pick up a few positions before we head into the back section of the circuit. Aero again at a premium before the big run onto the main straight here at Sydney Motorsport Park. Taking a look at the track facts there and you can just see the fastest lap set by John Paul Drake earlier at round two this season. Sitting on pole position though for round three, it's Alex Kenny. We caught up with him down in the pits. Beautiful day for racing and probably an even better day for you seeing as you just snared pole. Alex Kenny, how was it out there? Yeah, it was interesting. It was, it was really cold out there actually. Uh, yeah, it, was, it was fun. Uh, it was a nice fresh track. It was beautiful out there. Had a little bit of an issue because it was so cold. It was running under temp. So it limited us to quite low RPM, but for me, that was a bit of the part of the game and made it exciting going to how we're going to try and snatch another pole. And uh, everyone was quick. Like, Justin, congrats to him because he did an epic time as well. So, and Nick's not far behind. And, you know, it's going to be a fun day between me and Nick. So, yeah, it should be a good day for racing out there. Good battles between you guys. What, what's your plan to get out the front, stay out the front? Yeah, that's always the plan get out the front, stay in front. Uh, look, we're running an old set of tyres as well. So, the, the plan is just to. Lap by lap, just, you know, keep it together. Don't do anything silly, just have fun, enjoy the racing. And like our group has got some awesome racing happening at the moment. So just to be a part of it and have some fun, really. Best of luck out there. Thank you so much. Cheers. Great for Alex Kenny there to pick up the pole position and hopefully be able to lead everybody home. 16 cars for this, the third round of the industry, New South Wales Super Sports Championship. Proudly brought to you by Oznet this weekend. You can just see down in turn one, Alex Kenny opening up the gap very, very comfortably over Nick Kelly and Justin Degani in behind him and then the rest of this field all up close together. You can see Chris Perini in amongst there, Sergio Perez in the red uh, radical sponsored by GWR and 991 Racing as we go on board with Knowles and it looks like a rotation there in the early stages. Not sure who that was. Unfortunately for them, they're way off the track. Paul Palmer involved with it as well. So a little bit of a fight back to do for a couple of drivers in the early stages here. The battle for second place on in earnest. Chris Perini trying to go around the outside and a few of them dives to the inside of Nick Kelly, gets the position away at the end of the first lap. So it's on for the second place. Unfortunately for them, it looks like Alex Kenny has been able to pull out an opening gap here in the regulation Nova Proto, Nova Proto, sorry, the regulator automation car. He's been able to open up a very comfortable lead in lap one. As now Nick Kelly slots in the second place in the SR8. Perini now trying to hold on to Garmin. And yet on board with Paul Royal a little bit further back. You can just see the watching brief he's got on the battle group as well. On board with Sergio Perez, who's sitting in fourth place, uh, fifth place, sorry, in the race just see round the back Nick Kelly not with as much pace as he has down the main straight and into turn two and that's allowing a few cars to catch up to him as all oh, the six of Justin Tagani and the Tagani motorsport car to the inside makes a little bit of contact at the final corner and seeing their opportunity to try to pick up the position there on Kelly and take the opportunity to get past before the straight because of course with the power of the SR8 Kelly was able to open the gap up every lap on board again with Sergio Perez and you can just see he had a bit of a watching brief as the middle of the race developed here in this one. Great sunshine out on the circuit for all of our industry clothing New South Wales Super Sports Championship competitors, of course, brought to you by Oznet this weekend. A huge thank you for them for their support and the great supporter base that industry New South Wales Super Sports has to be able to make sure that this racing is showcased every weekend. And good to see really strong fields out there supporting the racing as well as we look through this whole battle pack. It's almost the whole field in amongst it, all the way through there. You can just see that we've got good fighting behind out Sergio Perez, we've got Alex Gardner and Mark Brain who are there battling it out as well. If we get on board again with Sergio Perez in the Valmont Racing Car. Not quite with the pace of these front runners. Nick Kelly again comes under pressure from Justin Tagani. And Chris Perini sitting there with the watching brief, just trying to see if he can do anything about it. Got a pass down the straight there as well. Looks like Mark Graham's been able to get past. As we 
go back towards the front and see that battle continuing to develop. You can just see how Nick Kelly uses the straights to be able to open up the gaps there, and that enables him to stay safe through the back section of the circuit. Talking about staying safe, the Nova Proto, Alex Kenny, leads the way in the Regulator Automation car. It's backed off towards the end of the race, so that gap closed to Nick Kelly but more than a comfortable victory there for him at the end of race one. Justin Degani in third, Chris Perini fourth, and fifth place goes to Sergio Perez. Time for the second race of the industry, New South Wales Super Sports Championship here at Sydney Motorsport Park, and you can see it's Nick Kelly picking up where he left off in race one, leading the field down to turn one. And Nick Kelly going to try to go to the outside there and just not be able to do it, but Alex Kenny will continue his merry way down towards turn two, opening up that lead. Just look at the group that he's been able to open up. 15 cars for the second race of the weekend. You can see a few of them trying to make opportunistic moves around the outside. Look like Paul Royal with a little bit of contact there on the inside as we take on board with Tagani. And he's right up behind Kelly. Looks to the outside of the industry car. He's not going to be able to do anything about it there. He's still starting to have to behind him for the opening stage of this race as we go on board with Sergio Perez. He's having a look to the inside, not quite able to do it to be able to get past it. I think that's the Wolf Tornado of Steve Roberts. And oh, a few cars having an off there. I think that's Kelly with the spin, it is. So Kelly's rotated the car. Somehow he must have touched the grass on the exit of turn four. Lucky to be avoided by everybody behind. Good awares of the air driving from a lot of them. And they've been able to negotiate their way past Nick Kelly in that early one. So everybody's still with straight cars, able to continue on racing. Of course, great aware driving from the whole championship here. It's very respectful racing, even though we do get a bit of wheel-to-wheel -wheel action and rubbing of panel work at different times. Everybody very respectful of the racing that they like to achieve. As we see Sergio Perez in the red car swinging around there. And just in front, it's Alex Gardner in the 94. He's being chased down at the moment by the Wolf Tornado of Steve Roberts. He's not quite able to do anything as yet. So we go back on board with Tagani, who's inherited second place in the race here. So he'll be trying to chase down Alex Kenny out in front, but Alex Kenny in the Nova Proto has just been able to show a clean pair of heels all weekend. Some great driving from him as we take on board with Paul Royal, who's run a little bit wide out of turn six. Looked like there was another car involved with that one as well. So he'll have a bit of work to do to try to dust off the tyres and see what he can do as we see Sue Hughes and Bill Medland having a battle as well in a pair of Radical SR3 so all the way through the field there's somebody to fight with it's a story of the industry New South Wales Super Sports Championship there's always somebody to battle as we see here Kerry Knowles coming under pressure from Canavan in the Hunter sponsored car and go on board with Knowles who's run a little bit wide there and Canavan gets to the inside so Jonathan Van Avon takes the position away in the Hunter-sponsored Radical. It looks like that may well have been um, Chris Perini following him through as well. So he's just making up positions there. And now it looks like Steve Shields is on the back of Knowles. So Knowles made up a few positions early. But unfortunately for him, it looks like the pace of some of the other cars is enabling them to get back in amongst it. And now with Perini. He's trying to keep the cars in front of him. So we see there the 73 Stephen Shields in the blue Radical SR3. He's all over the back of Knowles now trying to take that position away. So Knowles will be driving, looking in the mirror just as much as he's looking forward at the moment to be able to fight his way back. He's dropped a couple of positions there. Unfortunately for him, that's going to cause him to lose out on a few championship points as Mark Brain goes around the outside of Sergio Perez. Don't know that he's going to be able to make it work on turn three. You can see Perez just pinched him a little bit on the inside, moves into the inside as well to take the line away to four. And that's enabled Jonathan Canavan to get in amongst this one. So now Brain will have to look behind and make sure that he's not coming under pressure. So it looks like he did not quite get the run out of five, and that's going to enable Canavan to go to the inside. And Jonathan Canavan's going to take the position away down into turn six. A good overtaking maneuver there. And he will focus his attention now on Sergio Perez in front. So it looks like Chris Perini is following him through here as well. So a good battle amongst these cars. It's down inside the top four through about eighth place in the race at the moment. This shows the way that it all ebbs and flows as well. It's all about pace throughout the race here for these cars. Getting yourself into a rhythm, making sure that you can consistently do the lap time. And you'll be able to pick up those points and those positions. 
find yourself in a little bit of clear air, but then everybody else comes together. You end up with these great battles. Jonathan Canavan, you can see, is fighting the steering wheel through three. Struggling with a little bit of aero wash there from Sergio Perez. So you'll need to try to see if he can make the move sometime soon because the front tyres will probably get a little bit hot with that sort of aero wash. And there he goes, down the inside into turn one. Perez moved him all the way over to the wall to make it as hard as possible. Taking a look at the replay, you can see Canavan just gets the draft down the main straight. He'll pull out to the left here. Perez will follow him over a little bit, not too much, just trying to take the incentive away, but there's enough room left there. Great racing from the pair of them to be able to showcase. And that's some great battles in industry New South Wales Super Sports. So Perez loses out on that position right near the end of the race. Unfortunate for him, but Alex Kenny out in front. A very comfortable victory yet again for the regulator automotion Nova Proto and he'll be able to bring it home for victory in race two. Justin Tagani in second, Nick Kelly third, fourth goes to Alex Gardner and fifth to Jonathan Canavan with that great move on Sergio Perez. Final race for the third round of the industry clothing New South Wales Super Sports Championship proudly brought to you by Autonet this weekend here at Sydney Motorsport Park and you can just see it is again Kenny who leads the way down into turn one very comfortably. Nick Kelly sitting in behind him in second place. He'll be trying to pick up a few more points after that unfortunate spin at the beginning of race two. Not quite sure what happened there. It looked like he may have just touched the grass out of four. And that was what enabled him to spin. And oh no, Sue Hughes with contact there with I think that was Bill Medland in amongst it as well. So unfortunate for the pair of them to rotate in the early stage of the race. Very difficult to get down through his turns one and two with such a big field of cars all jockeying into position. Of course, if you'd like to get racing in your Radical or any sort of super sport car that is eligible for the championship, make sure to check out the website and Facebook page for more information on the season that is ahead. They'll have a night round under lights in mid-July. Make sure to get tracks on to be able to see these guys racing as well. Plenty of great racing from a lot of them. You can just see here. These battles continue on that we've seen over the last two races. Jonathan Canavan there in the black radical in the middle of shot trying to pick up those positions. We saw him make a great move on this man, Sergio Perez, in the last race. Perez now in front of the group. And he's looking to chase down the guys in front. There's Chris Perini amongst them as well. So Perini will be looking to work his way through and get himself back up inside the top three. Because that is where he feels like he probably deserves to be. Great to see the fights that are going on as everybody jostles for position in the late afternoon sun. It's almost sunset here at Sydney Motorsport Park. Of course, proudly brought to you by Osnet this weekend. Great supporters of the category as we see this battle pick up again. So it is yet again Canavan behind Sergio Perez. We saw them battle in race two and now they've picked up in race three where they left off effectively with a great fight down in turn one. It looks like this time Perez has been able to take the incentive away. So he'll continue working on keeping Jonathan Canavan behind. They're looking to chase down Nick Kelly up in front though. I think Kelly's got a bit of a gap on them at the moment. A couple of other cars in amongst it as well. They're up in front. So as long as these guys battle each other, they won't be able to chase down Justin Tagani and Alex Gardner in front either. And they'll have to just settle for the position that they are in in the race. So at the moment, Canavan doing all he can to work on Perez. Perini just sitting there. He'll be biding his time and waiting for the moment where he can shoot past and pick up the position. And we'll just see what they can do. Great battle amongst the Radicals here in the industry clothing New South Wales Super Sports Championship. Lap after lap in the late afternoon sun. They're pushing each other hard. You can see going a little bit deeper, a little bit deeper in turn two. So they're all just trying to pick up the position as it looks like Perini's been able to get past Canavan as well. So now Perini will look to the inside of Perez. Perez looking to the left, you can see he's looking across at the mirror, he knows the overlap is there for Perini, moves back to the right hand side of the road, and he'll just focus on trying to get the run now down through turn one, but Perini to the inside and makes that move stick, so he's picked up two positions in half a lap there, and is able to extract himself from this battle, and hopefully he will be able to move away as we take a look on board with Sergio Perez at the move, down into turn one, just flips the throttle a little bit to drop in behind. He knew Canavan was there, so he had to move in behind to be able to take away the incentive there for losing out on two positions. And now you can see Perini has just been able to open up that gap and make sure that he's not under any sort of pressure as we come towards the back section of this race. Perini getting past 
I think that may well be a lapped car there that's starting to slow just in front of them. So they'll have to work their way past this one down into turn two. Sergio Perez looks to the inside. Oh, a little bit almost contact there as it looks like Canavan's going to try to the outside and not quite able to make it work either. And he has been able to sit back in behind and go on board with Perez here. And you see he looks to the inside of the 60 car. That's Warwick Churche on the SR3. So it is a lack of vehicle. He's doing his best to keep out of the way knowing that they're both coming, but with so much pace through turn one. But out in front, it's this man, Alex Kenny, who yet again cannot be stopped. He's looking down the barrel of three race victories here for round three in the industry clothing New South Wales Super Sport Championship. Proudly brought to you by Oznet this weekend. He's been able to sink pole position and the first two race victories. He'll bring home race three as well in the Nova Proto for regulator automation. And Alex Kenny, just about the best weekend that he could possibly have hoped for to be able to get his championship charge continuing here at Sydney Motorsport Park. He'll come down and collect the chequered flag very comfortably in the end. A great weekend for Alex Kenny. Leading home Justin Tugani, Alex Gardner, Chris Perini and Nick Kelly rounding out the top five. Down in the pits, we caught up with Alex Kenny to have a chat about his great race weekend. Alex Kenny with complete domination today, mate, from qualifying all three races. Is it the car or the driver? Definitely the car. I have to testament to Nova Proto. They, they make an awesome car. Like, um, couldn't be happy with the thing. Uh, it makes me look really good. But I have to admit, I absolutely worked my butt off for that. Um, and it's good fun. So, look, can't wait for uh, Nick to get his new car and, and some of the other Wolf guys to come back as well because it's going to be tight. It's going to be fun. And But, yeah, I'll take it when I can get it, right? Absolutely. And you talked about having to work your butt off today. And it was cold today. And last race of the day, the track conditions were like like we saw people spinning on the warm-up lap. So tell us what it was like out there. Yeah, it was a bit like this morning, actually. The sun went down, uh, so the track lost a lot of temperature really quickly. Uh, the first few laps were a bit sketchy because I was just trying to get teat in the tyres and, and try and warm them up. My tyres are absolutely shot anyway. They're a few races old now, so... It's just hard work for everyone, and you know I think everyone's doing it tough. And um, it shows that we're a really good category. You know, the racing's hard, the racing's tough. Everyone's trying their hardest, right? So, uh, it's proof to how good this category is and how awesome you know, all our drivers are. Well, Alex, congratulations, mate! Great, great weekend for you, and we'll see you at the next round. Hundred percent, can't wait. Well, we hope you've enjoyed all the action here on Blendline TV from the third round of the Industry New South Wales Super Sports Championship, proudly brought to you by Oznets this weekend at Sydney Motorsport Park. If you'd like to know more about the championship, make sure to check out their website and Facebook page. Head to supersportsracing.com.au for more information on how you can get trackside to be able to watch or compete with these guys. The next round is at Sydney Motorsport Park on July 8th. Make sure you're trackside for some great action. Until then, bye for now.